Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 4 of unit number 3, Cryptography and Public Key Infrastructure. Myself Nikul Jaiswal, lecturer in Computer Engineering, Sri KJ Polytechnic, Paruch. So let's have a quick recap of our previous lecture. So in the previous lecture we have discussed the Playfair cipher. So in the Playfair cipher we developed the 5x5 five five, uh, character blocks. In that character blocks we put uh, unique characters based on key. And after developing that 5x5 five five, uh, character block, we encrypt and decrypt the plain text. So Playfair cipher is a substitutional cipher and it has been used by the various armies in World War 1 and World War 2. Now in today's lecture, we will see two next two algorithms. So first is Hill cipher and the second is Vernum cipher. So let's start with our first algorithm that is Hill cipher. So in our syllabus, we have only encryption uh, of Hill cipher. So we will only see the encryption of the Hill cipher. We will not discuss how to uh, perform the decryption with the help of Hill cipher. So we will only discuss the encryption of the Hill cipher. So invented by Lester S. Hill in 1929, the Hill cipher is a substitutional cipher based on linear algebra. So what is substitutional cipher? So we, we are in the substitutional cipher, we are replacing one letter with another letter. So that will be called as a substitutional cipher. So Hill cipher is also a type of substitutional cipher. Hill used matrices and matrix multiplication to mix up the plain text. So in this algorithm, we are using the matrix multiplication to convert our plain text into a cipher text. So this is the major uh, uh, contribution by the Hill that he, he has used mathematics in encryption and decryption. So to counter charges that his system was too complicated for day-to-day -day use. Hill constructed a cipher machine for his system using a series of gear wheels and chains. So it is very complicated uh, for the day-to-day -day use. This uh, algorithm is very complicated for day-to-day -day use. So what the Hill was do? He constructed a machine that will uh, convert the plain text into a cipher text. So Hill's major contribution was the use of mathematics to design and analyze the crypto system. So this was the uh, uh, First of a kind of algorithm in that mathemat use of mathematics has been done in encryption and decryption. Hill cipher can encrypt block of letters, uh, multiple letters in plain text. So in the previous uh, algorithms, uh, in the Caesar cipher, we are encrypting one letter at a time. In the Hill cipher, uh, we are we can encrypt multiple letters from the plain text. So in the previous lecture, we have also seen that in the Playfair cipher, we are encrypting two letters simultaneously uh, by, by using the algorithm. So in the Hill cipher, we can choose multiple letters for the encryption and decryption. So let's suppose in the plain text, we have 10 characters, then we can uh, take first three characters to encrypt, then after that encryption, we will take second three characters then third three characters and fourth three characters. So we can encrypt the multiple letters at the same time by using the Hill cipher. So size of key will increase as block of letter in plain text increase. So when we use the two letters for the encryption, then the key size will be a four letters. When we use the three letters for the encryption from the plain text, then the key size will be a nine letters. When we use the four letters for the encryption, then the key size will be a 16 letters. So when we increase the block of plain text, then the size of key will also be increased. So this is the major note that you need to remember that if we increase the block of letters in plain text, then the size of key will be also increased in the Hill cipher. So for block of n characters, in plain text, key as n by n matrix will be needed. So when we use three characters in a plain text for the encryption, then we will require three by three matrix for the encryption as a key. If we use the four characters in plain text, then we will need the four by four matrix as a key for the encryption. So when the characters, uh, when the block of letters will increase, then 
the size of key will also increase that means for three character block key as a 3 by 3 matrix will be needed same as for the four character block key as 4 by 4 matrix will be needed so for n character block n square size of key will be needed so for the three character block we will need nine uh, characters as a key for the four character block we will we need uh, 16 characters as a key for the five character block we will need a 25 character of keys so this is the basic uh, algo uh, this is the uh, layout of the algorithm for the hill cipher so you can see that first of all what we are going to do is we are taking the character and we are assigning the numbers to that character so for the a we are uh, taking 0 for b 1 c for 2 as, uh, like that k for 10 then l will be 11 m will be 12 n will be 13 and the z will be 25 so this is the first step so in the first step we are assigning numbers to a characters clear now here i have taken the example of three character block that means i will take the three character from the plain text for the encryption so the first in the first encryption i will encrypt the three characters after that we will, i will take another three character and i will encrypt that data so you can see here this is the matrix and this will be called as a key so if we take the three characters for the encryption then we need nine characters as a key so for the three character three by three matrix will be needed and we will perform the matrix multiplication in modulo by 60 it will result in the uh, cipher text of character 1 cipher text of character 2 and cipher text of character 3 so for the encryption of three character what we are going to do is for the three character we will take the three by three matrix as a key we will take the three characters from the plain text for the encryption we will perform the matrix multiplication here so you can see the formula for the matrix multiplication so for the c1 k11 into p1 plus k12 into p2 plus k13 into p3 then if the correct then the result if the result is more than 25 characters then we need to provide the rotation for that we will perform the modulo 26 so this will result in the cipher text of first character then this will result the cipher text of second character and this will result the cipher text of third character so this is how with the help of three by three matrix we can encrypt the three uh, letters of plain text let's see how we can perform the encryption in detail so this is our uh, characters and numbers and this is the plain text so hide the gold in the tree stem so we are taking the three by three block so we will take the first three characters for the encryption so as we are taking three character block we need nine character of key so you can see here my key is computer so one two three four five six seven eight and nine so i am taking nine characters as a key if you do not want to take the characters as a key you can also take the matrix as a key so you can also take the direct matrix of the key but the number in the matrix must be between 0 and 25 so num numeric matrix can be also be selected as a key now from this character key we are constructing a uh, numeric matrix so this uh, we will see how to perform this so this is our algorithm so we are taking the three uh, three by three block so we are taking three characters from the plain text c1 uh, here it is c1 c2 and c3 by mistake i have taken the c1 uh, and uh, both in both the places i have taken the c1 but it is c2 and c3 so first of all what we are going to do is we are taking the three characters from the plain text so i am taking h i n d so these are the first three characters h i d i will put the h here i will put the i here and i will put the d here so i will not going to put h i d but the number of h that means the number of h is 7 the number of i is 8 and the number of d is 3 so we are putting 7 8 and 3 here clear now we have key so what we are going to do is we are taking the key and we will put the key in this matrix 
so 2 that means c the number of c is 2 then 14 so number of o is 14 then 12 so number of m is 12 then 15 so number of p is 15 then 20 the number of u is 20 then 19 the number of t is 19 then 4 number of e is 4 then 17 number of r is 17 and s so number of s is 18 so this is my key this is my plain text so you can also take the this matrix directly as a key if you do not want to take the characters as a key you can also take the matrix direct numeric matrix as a key but this is the convenient way to take the character as a key now we will perform the matrix multiplication of these and the, we will calculate the modulo of this by the matrix multiplication so this is the uh, matrix multiplication of the first uh, three characters so c1 is equal to uh, 2 into 7 so c1 is equal to 2 into 7 plus 14 into 8 plus 12 into 3 more 26 so the answer will be 162 more 26 and the result will be 6 so the 6 character in the uh, hill cipher for the number and plain text characters 6 will be g right now for the second character this is the multi uh, matrix multiplication 15 into 7 plus 20 into 8 plus 19 into 3 more 26 so answer will be 322 more 26 is equal to 10 and the character for the value 10 number 10 is k now next is matrix multiplication of character 3 4 into 7 plus 17 into 8 plus 18 into 3 more 26 so answer will be 218 more 26 and the final answer will be 10 and the character for the 10 is again k so encryption for the first three characters h i d will be the g k k now in the next step we will take another three character that is e t h now if you want to perform encryption of more than three characters then also it is possible in hill cipher if you want to take the four characters as a plain text in that case you will need a 16 character of 16 characters of key clear so what you uh, what you have to do is if you want to uh, take the four characters uh, if you want to encrypt the four characters at a time you need a key of 16 characters then and then you can perform the uh, encryption in hill cipher so that means if you increase the block of plain text then the key uh, will be also increased clear so this is how we can perform the encryption and hill cipher now next algorithm is vernum cipher it is also called as a one time paid so you can uh, imagine that in the one time paid we can take the key only for one time so vernum cipher is a method of encrypting alphabetic text so we can encrypt the alphabetic text by using the vernum cipher it is simply a type of substitution of cipher so again we are replacing the one letter with another with the help of vernum cipher in this mechanism we assign a number to each character of a plain text like a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 c is equal to 2 then z is equal to 25 same as hill cipher we are assigning the values to individual character in vernon cipher now method to take key in vernon cipher algorithm we take a key to encrypt the plain text which length should be equal to the length of the plain text so this is the major disadvantage of vernon cipher so the size of plain text and the size of key must be same this is why it is called as a one time paid so if your text is if your uh, plain text size is 10 characters that means your key size must be a 10 character if your key uh, plain text size is 50 characters 
then your key must be size of 50 characters. If your plain text size is 100 characters, then your key for the encryption must be a 100 characters. That means the size of the plain text and the size of the key must be same in 1M cipher. The algorithm is very simple. Assign a number to each character of a plain text and key according to alphabetical order. So we are assigning the numbers to the plain text and the numbers to the key. Now add the both the numbers. So we will take the first character from the plain text. We will take the first character from the key. Then uh, the number of both the characters will be added. Now if the addition is greater than 25, 20, uh, 26, then we will uh, greater than or equal to 26. Then we will subtract the 26 from the number and we will uh, calculate the cipher text. So this is how we can give the plain text and the number. So this is our plain text and this is the number that has been assigned to a individual characters. Now let's see. So the plain text here you can see the plain text and you here you can see the key. So the size of the plain text and the size of the key must be same. So this is our plain text. Hide the gold in the tree stump. So this is the number according to uh, previous uh, according to previous number allocation. So seven for the H, eight for the I, three for the D. So we are assigning the numbers to the plain text. Now we will take the one time paid that is also called as an encryption key. So this is our key. We are taking the number of the keys. Clear. Now we will add both the number. So we will perform the H plus K that means 7 plus 10, then 8 plus 9, then 3 plus 15. So this will be the addition 17, 17, 18, 18, 30, 31. Now if the number is greater than or equal to 26, then we will subtract the 26 from this number. So subtract 26 if greater than 25. So 17, 17, 18. Now this is the greater than 25. So 30 minus 26 will be 4. 31 minus 26 will be 5. Again 23, 10, 16, 18, 16, 16, 16 15. 21, 21, 17, 34. So it is greater than 25. So we will subtract the 26. So 34 minus 26 will be 8. 37 minus 26 will be 11, then 23, 8, 34, again it is greater than 25, so we will subtract the 26, so 34 minus 26 will be 8, 22, 24, 27 and 34. So 27 is also greater than 25, so 27 minus 26 is equal to 1 and 34 minus 26 will be 8. Now we will convert these numbers into characters. So 17 is R, 17 is R, 18 is S, 18 is S. So this is how the encryption will be done in Vernum cipher. We are taking the plain text, we will assign the numbers, we will take the key. The major part of this algorithm is, the important part of this algorithm is, the size of key and the size of plain text must be same. So practically it is not possible for the long messages. Then we will add these two numbers. If the number is greater than 25, we will subtract the 26 and we will uh, get the cipher text. Now, how the decryption will be done? So, the decryption will be the exact reverse order of this. So, let's see the decryption. So, this is our not a plain text, it is our cipher text. It is cipher text and this is the key. So, key will be the same. So, we will take the cipher text here. So number of the cipher text, we will take the same key. Now we are in the encryption, we are adding these keys. Now here we will perform the subtraction. So 17 minus 10, 7, 17 minus 9, 8, 18 minus 15, 3. Now if you get the minus answer, so 4 minus 11 will be minus 7. So in the encryption, if the number is greater than 25, then we are subtracting uh, it with 26. But here in the decryption, if the number is in minus form, then we will add the 26. So if 
uh, number is less than 0 we will add the 26 so you can hear uh, you can see here it is minus 7 so we will add the 26 that means it is 19 here you can see minus 19 so we will add 26 so the answer will be 7 same here minus 7 we will add the 26 the answer will be 19 here minus 9 we will add the 26 so answer will be 17 minus 9 we will add the 26 then 17 here minus 14 we will add the 26 12 and in the last minus 11 we will add the 26 and the answer will be 15 now after that we will convert our this uh, uh, numbers into text so we will get the plain text h i d e t h e g o l d i n t h e t r w -E, e s t u m p so this is how the decryption will be performed in the vernum cipher so this was all about the hill cipher and vernum cipher i hope you did understand all the concepts that has been discussed in this video lecture thank you so much